Hello and welcome everybody to uh, part six, I believe. Yes, part six of this chess bot battle. Uh, I started in the beginner level of these computer opponents on chess.com and now I'm in the intermediate section. It looks like I'm playing Wilson, who is a 1200 player or 1200 bot or computer opponent. All right, let's begin here. And I increased the time a little bit because I was playing 10 minute games, um, which yesterday or the day before recently, the last bot battle was kind of, uh, I don't know, messy because I was trying to rush and talk at the same time. Uh, all right, let's jump into this. Okay, we have uh, F4 by this bot named Wilson. Okay, once again, I'll try this hippopotamus defense and just see what happens. All right. Okay, so hippopotamus defense, you fianchetto both of your bishops, then you move both of your center pawns up one square, then you put your knights in behind those pawns, all right, now you may have to make a decision uh, when they do something here. So, I will go ahead, well, yeah, I'll go ahead and capture. So he does that. Um, I will just develop another piece here, I believe. Just develop another piece. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and just develop. Okay, so now we have an attack there. We'll go ahead and capture. Now we can castle. Let's see. Yeah, probably castling is the best move. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, he made a mistake. Okay, so here's a mistake. Can you find out what the mistake is that he made? Um, so whenever you have pieces lined up on each other, especially on the king, that can uh, give you the option of doing a tactic. So here, he's going to lose his queen. Um, so, uh, we just... Should I hurry, or is there something better here? Uh, I could just attack that knight. Now nah, we'll just go there. And now uh, we can pin that piece again with the queen. Uh, and now we can just capture that. All right, so now we're just winning. And let's see here. Do we just capture with the bishop and have a battery here with the queen? With the combo of the queen and... All right, so now... Uh, what should we try here? Well, we can do this and threaten a fork. Oh, okay, that that is interesting. Well, we may have a mate opportunity here. All right, check. Check. And it should be mate. All right, well, that was a crazy interesting game all right uh let's do a quick game review since that game was fairly fast so game review uh it looks like oh i got a high percentage 95 percent in this to their 72.5 sudden great win you saw your chance and took it okay so um, uh, the birds opening is what they started with. Okay.
Okay, so here d5 was a mistake. They should have just developed another piece. So usually you do not want to move uh, pieces twice in the opening or pawns unless it is giving you some opportunity, unless you're capturing something or recapturing uh, to keep the balance even. But here, this is a mistake moving a pawn that you've already moved, moving it again. Um, it would have been better to just keep developing your pieces and get all your pieces out, your king safe and your rooks connected uh, or even your rooks into the center or behind half open or open files uh, before you start you know, going crazy and capturing and trying to uh, break through. Okay, so a great move capturing there. Um, you trade off equal material. There was only one good move and you found it. You prevented your opponent from being able to win a pawn. All right, that is a mistake, of course. Uh, bishop to d3 would have been better. Just once again, developing a piece. He would have been able to try and castle soon. All right. And another great move, which... I have immobilized your opponent's queen by pinning it to the king. So always look for attacks when pieces are lined up on uh, a rank, a file, or a diagonal. All right, next move. So that was an excellent move, although bishop takes d5 would have been better. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Yes, because then I could have captured the queen with the bishop instead. Hmm. Interesting. All right. And that was a mistake, moving that king into there. It wanted me to just push forward with this uh, H, or wanted the computer to push forward with the H pawn. But now there's a mate in three, which, of course, we found this. All right. So, no, I got a higher rating on that one, a 2050. Um, compared to 1200 which is what they were all right um, let's see here let's move on to the next game uh, let me get out of here uh, well let's see what the opening and middle game had to say uh, 78.3 in the opening I played 90.3 they played 50.1 in the middle game and I played 98.2 oh man all right well on to the next one so the next bot is going to be, I believe, a 1300 now. So we're moving up a little bit. Jade, 1300. Jade's coach has taught her some aggressive openings. Be careful early on or you won't have a chance. All right. Well, we'll see how she can use her aggressive openings against the hippopotamus defense. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. We'll choose that player. The time is the same, random, and here we go. Okay, let's try this hippopotamus defense setup. All right, all right. Hmm. Hmm. Just do that to prevent the bishop from being able to come in. And we'll go here. Okay, bring our knight up. We could possibly attack the queen. Uh, all right, do we just keep developing? That's probably better. Um, I'm going to go ahead... I'll go ahead and castle. Hopefully that's not going to cause me problems. All right. Well, we'll go there, see what they do. Bring our knight in. Okay. Well, now I think I'm going to close up the center and my pawns will be pointed up towards the queen side where his king is. And then I can just try to 
uh, just push everything up there and attack him. So let's attack that. Oh, now he just gave away this bishop. Is there a reason that he did that? Okay, well, let's take it. Now we can attack with our bishop. And now we can just get another piece. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't want... Hmm. I want to keep that closed up. Okay, so now... Hmm. What should we do here? What should we do? Let's attack. See what he does. Okay, well now we can check him. Check. Oh, well that helps us. Now we could... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well that is a good little aid there. Let's... Okay. All right. How do we want to do this? We don't want to run into trouble here. So... If we go here, there... So, maybe we could try something like this. We just go here. I mean, we have this extra material. Maybe we can give some of it back. Do we just attack this? No. If he takes... All right, we have to protect that. So... Hmm. Do we just go there? No. Attack the queen... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Hmm. All right, so let's slow down a little bit. Our bishop can be captured here. So should we just attack the queen? That might be an option to just attack that queen. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now we could even move forward with this because we are ahead in material so now how can we continue on let's go here Hmm. All right, let's start attacking. All right. 
just keep attacking. And hmm. Well, what can we do? What can we do? Well, let us, let's see, if he tries to go there, we have a check. Okay, let's move this, move this knight up. We'll try that. We'll just try and move this knight into a better position. Okay, then we'll go there. Okay, now hmm, probably best to get the other knight in there or we can just attack the rook, attack the queen. Okay. All right, what now? We'll just counterattack. We'll let him have our knight, but we got his knight. And now uh, we can start checking. So we'll go there. And then we can pick off some pawns. Let's see. Hmm. All right, all right. Hmm. All right, let's just well, we've got this weak pawn here. What can we do about that? Let's go there. All right, what can he try to do now? Not much, not much. All right, let's go after his queen. We're ahead in material. We can trade off. Um, we can move our knight and protect this pawn. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. All right. And now we can Get our king up into the game. Let's push our bishop forward and kind of block his king off. And we might as well just try and you know get these pawns moving. All right. Uh, we'll just escort one of the pawns up. Okay, okay. Well, we can go there. And then if he comes in here, well, we'll just escort the other one up. And now we don't care what happens. We'll just get a queen out of it. Okay, let's make sure he has, that we're not going to stalemate him. All right, we'll just start moving our pawns up. And queen. And we'll go 
there, get another queen, and then we can go right here. All right, so that one was a little bit longer. Well, I don't know, it was only 22 moves, is that correct? That can't be right, no, okay. Yeah, I thought it was longer, 60. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, game review, this should tell us a little bit more since it was a longer game. Okay, 74.5 to 82.6. No brilliant or great moves, no surprise there. Um, sharp, the, that was a real battle, but you earned the win. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so the opponent brought their queen out early, and you generally don't want to do that because the queen can become a target. Uh, it's better to just develop all your pieces off the back row you know your knights first because they're slower then your bishops uh, and connect your rooks get your king castled and safe you know and then move your queen up to the second or third rank all right here knight to f3 would have been better okay h6 is an inaccuracy and here i was just trying to set up this hippopotamus defense so with the hippopotamus defense, you don't play the best moves in the opening. You just go for this opening setup, and you just wait and see what your opponent will do. So, I don't know. Some people may or may not like that kind of play. Um, all right. So, what do we have here? Castling is an inaccuracy. Bishop to f5 uh, would have been better. So, bishop. What are they saying? Or, sorry, knight to f5, attacking the queen. Okay, yeah, so that would have been a better move just to attack the queen. All right, so once again, it wants me to attack the queen. And now, uh, king to b1 was a mistake. h5 would have been better. So, yeah, with h5, that's what I thought might happen. If they push forward with h5... They're attacking here. You know, I would have to probably push forward, but then you know, they could push forward here and attack this. I might have time if I attack the queen, but I'm, that could have caused me problems over there on the king side. They could have had an attack, especially if I was playing a higher rated bot or you know, computer opponent. Okay, this is a blunder. Queen to h3 would have been best. So why was that a blunder? Um, let's see, we'll find out. Knight takes e5. What? It wanted me to play knight takes e5. Hmm. So if I did that, the pawn could just capture Oh, and then we would be able to fork the knight and the queen in the center there. Interesting. Let's see those moves. Oh, and capture that. Hmm. Whoa, that would have been a crazy... Okay, I didn't see all that. <laughs> I was still trying to just get everything developed. Okay, bishop takes d7 would have been better. Uh, so there, just let me take the bishop. So, you know, then I was just ahead in material here. And then I kind of got a little bit of an attack going on the king side there. And then after that, I just tried to trade down material. Because if you're ahead in pawns or material, and you trade down more material, which I mean pieces, not pawns, um, that can give you an advantage because you can use your extra pieces to pick off their pawns and help promote your pawns. Uh, now, if you're behind in material, you want to uh, trade off as many pawns as you can because then your opponent can't tr uh, turn those pawns into, you know, promote them to queens. All right, so 1,600 and 600. Okay, I'll do one more game uh, with the next bot, which will be... 
uh, Nelson, 1300. Nelson knows that the queen is the best piece and he likes to attack with it as much as he can. Most opponents can't punish his risky play, can you? All right, let's find out. Okay, so we'll choose Nelson, 15 minute game. Okay, here we go. Are we having black once again? Come on. It just keeps giving us black and it's supposed to be random. I don't understand that. All right, we're gonna play white this time. Okay, here we go. So, um, let's try something different. We'll play E4. We'll just play a regular opening and try to attack here. Oh, so that's he does like to bring that queen out early. Can this cause us problems? Can it cause us problems? Well, let's just develop our knight. We'll play a little differently here. Okay, do we want to break his pawns up there? We could do that. Um, I think we'll just try that first. Okay, then we'll attack, see what he does. Oh, he just gives me this bishop. Okay, well, we will take that material. We can attack his knight. All right, let's take more material here. Uh, we can't yet. All right, let's go ahead and do this. All right, well, what can we do? What would be best here? All right, I want to just take more material, but what is the best way? I, I don't want to just capture here because then he could have a fork on these two pieces with this pawn if he recaptures. So do I just take with the bishop, give up my bishop pair, and then just reposition this? Maybe I'll do that. Hmm. Should I just castle? All right, actually, well, nah, I probably want to take that out. Just take that out of there. Capture. That's a good bishop though. All right. If I castle, and what if he takes that, and then takes this, and I take, uh, we'll still be good. So we'll go ahead and castle. All right, now, we'll go here. And, all right, I need to bring this, I need to reposition these pieces. How about, uh, if I just capture and then move my, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Just capture. Now I can move this around to here. Okay. Okay. Should I go ahead and capture? Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Bring this knight to here. Take that pawn. All right, now 
we can attack. But, okay, that works. That works. Okay, now we can get rid of his bishop. Unless there's something better. No, we'll just trade down. We're ahead in material. Oh, we got to watch out for that. Watch out for this attack. Okay. Well, are we going to block our piece in with that move? All right, let's do... Ah, no, no, no. Let's do this. Boom. Try that. Okay, then let's push forward. Okay, now we can move, but how to move? Ah, uh, we gotta go. And there. Okay, let us... Do we want to double up by going here? All right, now... Hmm, hmm. Let's try this. Okay, let's move over here. Now we could possibly chase him away. Actually, let us go up here. Okay, now we could chase him away. Actually... Uh, this is tricky. This is tricky, tricky stuff. Let's go here. Now we can chase that guy away. So get the heck out of our position. Get that knight out of our area here. Oh, great. Now... Hmm, now he's going to jump in here. Okay, well, let's attack the queen. Attack the queen. All right, so now... All right, we're ahead in material. I mean, do we just... If we move this here, he'll just attack it. If we back up... Yeah, we can just back out of the way. All right, we'll go here. Attack that knight. Take it. All right, so he has broken pawns in the center. Can we take advantage of that? Uh, our bishop's kind of blocked in. Let's go after this pawn, maybe. Well, first, let's push forward and activate our bishop. So we active pieces can make all the difference. So... We have to find a way to use our extra bishop here against him. All right. So we'll go there, kind of block him in. Um, we have to capture that. And... What would be best? What would be best here? What 
would be best. We kind of let him get counterplay, so that's not good. All right, we'll just do that. Um, All right, Let's see if we can chase him out of there. Hmm. All right, man, I let him get counterplay that I shouldn't have. Let's push forward see what he does put our king up here we'll just start moving forward let's attack his king and back it up okay now um what is best here what is best all right we'll just move our king forward and Hmm. Okay. See, now our rooks are kind of uh, passive. We need our rooks to improve. We need to improve our rooks' positions. So let's try this. Threaten to push forward. Try that. Check him. Hmm. Do we just push forward again? No, nah, let's do that. Check him go after his pawns all right so now hmm, hmm. let's go after that pawn Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Hmm. Let's attack. Okay, we'll go there. Let's do that. Try that. All right, I made this way more complicated than it should have been. Okay, we should have a win now. We should have a win. All right, we should just attack him. Then, then what? Let's go here, threaten to check the king. OK, 
Okay. Now what do I do? I go here. Oh, crap. Well, that sucked. Man, come on. Really? Really? This is just absurd. I'm letting these rooks just go nuts here. All right, he just m made a mistake there. Oh. All right, yeah, I think I was losing there for a second. That was just awful. Okay, well, let's check him. And then I think this is mate. Uh, that was terrible. I think he had a chance to win. I don't know. We'll do a game review because I think I made a little mistake there. Where it could have been a game losing mistake. 74 moves. Oh, I didn't realize it was that long. All right. We'll do a quick game review. And uh, then I'll end this video because it's probably going a little long here. So 77.3 to 76.4. Well, it says I was never in trouble. I don't know about that. <laughs> but the computer is usually correct. So maybe it was a ghost uh, threat that didn't actually exist. All right. So I don't know. Once again, the bot let me get ahead in material. And then... Uh, I don't know, I was trying to simplify, but I made the game even more complicated. Well, it was just blasting through everything. That is crazy. Okay, that was a blunder right there, which made the game even. So he should have done that. And then that, yeah, that is what I was afraid of. Yeah, he could have just checked me back and forth for a draw. Hmm. Okay. Well, you're going to end up losing a pawn. You're threatening to take an outpost. So it looks like he could have just checked me back and forth. But he didn't. Uh, and then he made a blunder there. Oh, he was winning. Um, yeah, so I made the mistake. Wait, why did it do that? I wanted to see how... Uh, let's go back. So, yeah, that move, just checking me back and forth. So it should have been a draw. All right, yeah, I only played 1450 versus 1200. So that seems to be a pattern. My games are up and down. I'll have a good game and a bad one. They're kind of all over. <laughs> all right, well, uh, this video has gone on for quite a while. So if you hung around to the end, I thank you. Uh, please feel free to leave comments or suggestions. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And check out my Nick Butts Chess channel where you can enjoy more videos. Thank you everyone and have a great day.